<laughs> Bye, welcome back. <laughs> Alright, man, cut the bullshit. Alright, boom, welcome back to Challenge Yourself. I appreciate your time. Like, subscribe, most importantly, pay attention. Okay, so the challenge of this week is know your origin. Alright? Where are you from? When someone asks you where you're from, how do you tend to reply to that question? Now, I didn't ask you where you were born. Where you born differs from where you're actually from. It doesn't matter where you're born. What matters is where you're from, right? So you can be born in one place and not actually be from there. For example, if you are serving in the military and you have a kid in a different country, if you're an American soldier and you have a kid in China, that kid is not Chinese, that kid is still an American. Why? It's because of their parents being American soldiers. So in essence, a child belonging to a nationality is not necessarily specifying where they are from. When someone asks you where you're from, our usual response is we tell them where we're born. But do you ever ask yourself where you are from? Do you ever ask yourself exactly where you're from? For example, if I ask a friend of mine where he's from right here, naturally he'll tell me America. If we break that down, we understand that everybody in America is actually immigrants themselves. The founding fathers, every single president, the majority of people that you can think of that call America home are not even actually from here, we're just born here. There's people that have European descent, there's people that have Asian descent, there's people that have African descent, there's people that have Latin descent. So at the end of the day, the only thing that's native to the Americas are the indigenous people. Now, unfortunately, most of us don't know where we originated from. That's why I feel like it would behoove us to do just that and find out. I can't stress how important it is to know where you're from. From kids who have been orphaned to kids or people who are product of artificial insemination, uh, there is always that burning desire to know your source and to find out exactly where you come from. There's always a day when the most important question hits you dead in the face, like, who am I? And where am I from? Knowing where you're from is actually knowing who you truly are. And when knowing who you are, your sense of perception and direction in life is a little more clear. And we all know the same. When you know where you're from, you know exactly where you're going. See, for example, where you're driving to is always dictated from where you drove from. And driving aimlessly only leads to indecisiveness and a waste of gas, which is energy, right? So here are some quick tips to help you learn your origins and where you're from. Number one, read, 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 read. Go to libraries, look for books with credible authors that speak to your culture uh, and your history of people. For example, all you know is, is that you're from somewhere in Asia, right? If you're blood to your relatives and uh, you weren't adopted, look up the etymology of your name. See, etymology is the chronological study of words and their origins. Number two, talk to family. Take it a step further. Talk to surviving relatives. Create uh, some sort of a family tree. To trace back as far as you can. And you can look up the names of your early relatives uh, in census record books. Uh, there's archives all over the country. Now, I would recommend some of these ancestry companies, but to be honest with you, that's still someone telling you where you're from, which is what got us in this mess in the first place. The DNA databases that most of these companies have are limited. And number three, travel. So if you know one side of your family comes from Jamaica or Europe, go there, just go. Mix and talk with the local people, breathe in the air, eat the food. That alone brings you closer to what you were once from. You never know, you might even run into a relative that recognizes you or, or somebody that knows your family and they can fill in the blanks. Then number four, the most important one, ask the hard question. You see, sometimes learning who you are and where you're from isn't easy. Sometimes it's not that sweet. Sometimes it's a painful experience, especially if it's something that you're not proud of. But one thing is for sure is, whether you're proud of it or not, good or bad, it's always important to face the music. You see, it's important to face the music so you know how not to repeat the past, especially when it's detrimental. It's important. It's important and essential to who you're going to be by knowing exactly who and what you are and where you're from, good and the bad. The most important thing about it is we have to learn from the bad and keep piling on to the good, right? So that's the challenge of the week. Know your origin. Good luck. Hope you take heed. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.